Welcome back to One Stop Central. I'm Kyle Schaefer. I'm Mike Parker. And with our returning guest... I'm Julian. What's up? All right. Now, we were always planning on having Julian back here to talk a bit more. Uh, it was going to be a bit in the future, but recently some events have transpired. Uh, do you, do you want to kind of go over what's been going on? Um, so, basically, there's been a military coup in my country of Myanmar, uh, where the military has... Um, basically detained the uh, Democratic Party leaders and has uh, assumed a one-year uh, emergency power over the country where uh, they basically state that uh, due to voter fraud and other, uh, how they say, corrupt activities by the Democratic Party, they have to basically keep the country under control in the meantime. Uh, does this have any relation to... Uh, the recent election where in America many right-wingers uh, accused uh, Democratic Party members of also rigging the vote. Is that in any way related? Well, uh, it might, it, it's not direct, it's not related, but mm -hmm. it is very coincidental. But uh, <clears throat> there has been some fraud mm -hmm. within the elections, such as the Democratic Party taking out international funds, mm -hmm. which you're not supposed to do. But so the votes show that uh, most a majority of the population wanted a democratic power, a party in power mm -hmm. in the country, and uh, yeah. <clears throat> so this military, this military coup, uh, was this led by the other party, or was it just from actually the military? Uh, yeah, it, it is led by the military, mm -hmm. and uh, the top of the military, I forget his name, but uh, the general, <clears throat> he has. So the military has been, we've had constant struggle with the military for the past 50 years, 60 years, mm -hmm. ever since we got independence from Britain. And uh, it has happened three times. The military has uh, taken over three times in my uh, <clears throat> grandparents' life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so basically, it's not a, basically, you shouldn't be surprised about this, mm -hmm. but it's just the first time happening in our generation. So I must ask, uh, can you give us some more background information on this kind of topic? Yeah, like the political landscape before yeah. the uh, whole coup. Uh, so uh, you guys heard of the human rights activist Aung San Suu Kyi, right? The, she's a Nobel Prize winner. Oh yes, actually, she's most known for her. She speak how she speaks out about human rights. Mm -hmm. Well, there was been there has been lots of controversy about her before, because uh, people say she has fallen from grace. Like uh, you've heard about the. The situation of Rohingya in the north, right? No, actually, I don't have it. It's basically uh, there's Bangladesh in our country, mm -hmm. and there's a group of Muslims who are torn between uh, entering Myanmar and Bangladesh. Bangladesh won't accept them, mm -hmm. and Myanmar won't accept them, so they're stuck in the border. Mm -hmm. So basically, there's this. Well, it's not a controversy. It's just it's a fact that uh, there's been massive human rights violations in the north, in Myanmar by the military of them, where they commit mass genocide on. Uh, the Rohingya, where mm -hmm. they torture them, detain them, stuff like that, and basically this has been, there has been evidence about it. It's it's really really prominent, and mm -hmm. uh, she gains flack about this because she doesn't speak out about it. <clears throat> basically, like why why doesn't the human rights activist speak about the violation of human rights in mm -hmm. her own country? And people just go on saying that oh the military has her has a gun pointed at her head if she speaks out about this, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really evident because there's one interview where uh, a reporter asked the, the top general of the military, uh, why are you doing this? Have you heard about the, the Rohingya genocide in the north? And he says he has, and he presents him a picture of a family of Muslims saying they are populating too fast and they're endangering the Buddhist population of the country. It, like it just shows you like oh what God. what the top of like what the top of the military thinks. They thought that that would actually like get people to be like, yeah, they're all right. Then they're saying they're all right. Well, but they try massively to um, suppress reporters. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they keep them in their um, in their camps in the north, like to prevent the word from going out. Yeah, <clears throat> and basically, uh, uh, one of my teachers mm -hmm. back at home, her husband uh, is a plumber. Well, she made he made toilets and stuff, and he, he had a contract of working in the north, mm -hmm. and he said it was absolutely horrible. Like, people only a select amount of people could even use those uh, toilets and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The rest were just like, no, you can't use them. They were trust they were treated less than human. Wow. And uh, it's only gonna get worse with 
with the uh, military coup mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah <clears throat> uh so with the military that general that was talking about that presented them like oh see uh they're it's <clears throat> is he the one that's taking over uh yeah he's the one uh he's the head of power mm -hmm. he's like yeah he's acting as the head of power and basically uh he has stated that uh <clears throat> it's like a like if you want democracy or not, no one's above the law, which is ironic because they're they're coming up with these uh, false claims of voter fraud. Because uh, democracy has been growing in the country, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone wants that. So basically, he's just lying outright. <laughs> that that's just crazy, honestly. Yeah. Uh, so beforehand, you mentioned before about having a democratic party. Uh, could you explain any differences between Democratic Party there and the party that they were like? Do you have a two-party system? Uh, I don't believe so. All right. Can you explain the? Dem <clears throat> uh, could you explain, I guess, the parties and then, I guess, what led up to the voter fraud? Well, the parties. Well, voter fraud. I guess. <laughs> so, uh, from my childhood mm -hmm. and uh, from what I've heard from my parents and my family, it's it seemed pretty two-sided. Mm -hmm. uh, most people support the. Uh, the Democratic Party, or they mm -hmm. don't, mm -hmm. and uh, no other party has been brought up. Like uh, I've, I've, I've listened to my parents; they they never brought up. They only bring up the NLD, which is the mm -hmm. Democratic Party, and uh, that's about it. Uh, how's your family? How's your friends doing over there? <clears throat> uh, my friends are they're fine. I I can speak to them occasionally, but mm -hmm. sometimes they cut the power out at night to arrest activists. Yeah, basically people who protest out mm -hmm. so they basically cut their power so when they arrest people it doesn't go it doesn't get leaked online mm. has there uh, what can you explain like the situation for normal people is there uh, I know that there's protests uh, like big protests but are there riots they're destroying is there any really big damage done uh, the only big damage is um, when certain sections of the uh, government are mm -hmm. being heavily damaged because government workers are going strike, mm -hmm. going on strike, power stations don't work. Basically, they want to starve the country from within, like the people, until mm -hmm. the military gives what they want. Like the railway, like the railway system around mm -hmm. the country has stopped completely because mm -hmm. government workers are striking. Wow. <clears throat> uh, what is the inter uh, from what I've looked up, I have not seen any reaction from the international community besides saying. Don't do that. Uh, is is anyone going to do anything? Because all I know is that China is backing them. Yeah, uh, there is. Spe uh, well, there are lots of speculation. Mm -hmm. uh, most of my friends said that China is the majority reason this has happened, mm -hmm. and they even state that they even helped the military set up firewalls to um, basically block off the people from internet access. Mm -hmm. But uh, the only uh, Joe President Biden has spoke out about this. He mm -hmm. said that he will impose economical sanctions on the military if they continue to let this happen. Multiple countries have spoken ab out about this, mm -hmm. from Britain to to some countries in the UN. <clears throat> and basically, uh, all they've said that is, just stop. Like, yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> just wagging their finger like a yeah. naughty child. No. And, bas and basically, this has happened before. Mm -hmm. And like, you know the Albert Einstein saying that like yeah. the world is ruined by people who do nothing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has happened before where uh, international countries don't take action and it has led to many deaths <clears throat> uh, is there anything is what do you hope that the international community does uh, I really hope that um, they just have more presence in the country mm -hmm. like right now you just can't you can't point at someone and say stop mm -hmm. if they know you're not gonna do anything at them mm -hmm. that's why they keep and they they're being backed up by a major global power at the same time so they so they're gonna keep this going. It's, it's it's just crazy. I mean, we all our lives we all hear about revolution and revolt, especially in our own history from mm -hmm. uh, the Civil War as the South rising up against the Northern power mm -hmm. to uh, the Revolutionary War, how we all started, how we all think of it as super patriotic. It, it's just interesting. I think it's gonna be very interesting for a lot of people to hear about it uh, because a lot of people haven't experienced it at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. I uh, just find it. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. No. I just find it that um, people who are fighting for democracy mm -hmm. in the country mm -hmm. are they don't get uh, attention at all because what is our number one goal in this country? To like spread democracy, right? Mm -hmm. And so I believe that should be a bigger presence because 
the people are being oppressed out here. Mm -hmm. Every people should have the right to freedom and democracy. <coughs> uh, so you hope that, uh, like the Lincoln ideal that he put at the Battle of Gettysburg, a country uh, run by the people for the people. You you hope that's what's going to happen with. I I hope that's what's going to happen. Uh, <coughs> But, but we'll wait and see. Uh, we never know. The last time this has happened, mm -hmm. it led to the biggest civil war in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. And there were like the uh, 888 uprising, which was the name of the riots where uh, students like uh, basically protest against the military and they got shot. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's ha you can see it happening now. Uh, basically, there was a young lady um, who was protesting and they used live ammunition on her. She's now in critical condition in the hospital. And there, there's so many videos on the internet where you can find uh, the police beating up people, like innocent people. There was a video where um, there was a kid who was really scared of what's going on and they were just beating up on him. And uh, recently, we do this, uh, it's like a cultural thing. Okay? When we, whenever we have the traditional New Year, we give amnesty to criminals. Mm -hmm. We let prisoners go free. But this year we've had the largest, around twenty-three to twenty-five thousand criminals released, and uh, these guys go around like basically just like cause trouble for every neighborhood. Mm -hmm. My friend says that uh, they try to poison the water supply even. And uh, the other day there um, there were arsons burning down buildings right outside his house. Oh no, buddy, buddy's safe. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear you. Uh, I must ask, like, do you have family out there at yeah, the moment? I do. I uh like. Do you still remain in contact with them, or how's that going? Um, <clears throat> I have my grandparents at home. Uh, whenever they call me, they seem pretty unfazed about it. Probably because they've experienced this before, and they're probably used to it. Well, not that used to it, but you know, they like to hide the fact from me. But uh, uh, they're they're probably scared too because um, they don't know what's gonna happen because <clears throat> it might get worse as last time. Mm -hmm. Uh. Is there anything that we can do is to help, really? Like uh, contacting politicians, that do you think? Or <laughs> I believe know? if you spread the word, mm -hmm. you like get awareness out, mm -hmm. you can like uh, basically, like uh, how would I put it? <clears throat> you can invoke action, mm -hmm. you know, if enough people speak out against it, S something yeah. has to be done. <clears throat> so spread the word and uh, possibly contact representatives to make sure that action is done. Mm -hmm. uh, was there anything you'd like to say to the people that are obviously more than likely are not going to see this? But if you could speak to them, is there anything that you'd like to say to the people of Myanmar <clears throat> or to the people that are currently causing this coup? I just say uh, what I'll say is that um, just stay strong during during these times. Mm -hmm. uh, but like the just remember the past. This has happened before in the past, mm -hmm. and uh, it is our job to like stop it from happening and like again and again. Mm -hmm. Because if this keeps happening, our country won't progress. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a great place to leave off. Thank you for joining us on One Stop Central again. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, final thoughts? Yeah, uh, thank you again. Uh, hopefully, if okay. everyone, you want to come on again and talk again, and we're more than happy to have you because every single time you come on, you always have interesting stuff to share with. Yeah. I think a lot of people should be focusing more on. Yeah. And thank you for joining us today on One Stop Central. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you are curious or want to come on the channel uh, or leave your opinion, there's a comment section down below. Or, or you can take survey. the guest survey. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we'll see you next time on One Stop Central.